And we're back with the next part. So what we are going to be doing this one then is placing the signs on the outside of the building and also we're going to be working on interior. We'd start off with the signs then, what you want to do is come to the bottom left hand corner and on the 19th block out you just want to count to the 7th block up and here you just want to place that one block of red stained clay. As I mentioned then, once you get to the 19th block, you just want to count 7 blocks up, and on the 7th block just placing a 1 block of red stained clay. Then on the right of this you just want to extend it out one more, and for both of these two rows you just want to extend them up another 5 more blocks. Then on the third block up on both the two sides, just add in a 2x2 two two of your red stained clay again. And there you go, that's the first sign added, and now just come round to the side where our door is, and from the back left hand corner just come in one block in, and on the fourth block up just placing it two blocks out with red stained clay. Then for both of these just extend them up so they're both 6 blocks in height and on the third block up on either side as we did before just adding 2x2 two two of the red stained clay again. So now that we've done that what we are going to do is come inside and start on our interior. Also for those wondering we will be doing the garden around the front in a future part. What we are going to do to start off the interior then just dot some torches around so it's a little bit lighter in here. Then what we're going to do is start by coming to the corner behind us. We just want to clear out the first four grass blocks. Then for all of the four blocks we just cleared out, just extend them all forward and have 40 more blocks. And once you've done that, before we do actually fill it in, what you want to do on the last four rows is just extend them all out and have four more blocks on the left hand side. So there you go, that's this bit cleared out. What we are going to be filling it back in with is with our birch wood planks, and then for the rest of the floor, what you want to use your oak wood planks. Now that you've done that, as I mentioned before, what you want to do for the remaining grass blocks inside the building is just replace them all with your oak wood planks.
So that's all of the grass blocks cleared out and as I mentioned just filling them all back in with your oak wood planks. There you go, that's all of our floor replaced. As we removed a lot of our torches though, what we're going to do is just dot a couple more round and then we can start on actually adding our floors in. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do is mark out where our floors are going to go and for this just come to the right hand side of the doorway and on the 6th and 12th block, you just want to add a quartz block to mark out where our two floors are going to go. So the two layers we've actually placed our quartz markers at, what you want to do now is just fill it all in. Now we will be coming back later on and add an elevator shaft at the other end of the building, but what you can do for now is just fill it all in with your quartz. So that's the first floor added and now just to add up one more where we place the second marker at. So there you go, that's all of our floors added. What we are going to do now though to finish off this episode is come back down to the ground floor where we're just going to finish it off by furnishing this floor. Now what you want to do to start this off is just come to the corner and from here just counting up 14 blocks out and on the 14th block just placing 8 blocks back with your grey wall. Then on the right hand side the last block just extend now another 6. After that next the row we just added all the way around it you just want to add another row of grey wool. Then just come to the corner next to the wall and on the 6th block out on the 3rd block back you just want to place the 8 blocks back with your quartz. After that, next to this row on the second block in, what you want to do is add one more quartz blocker followed by a row of four after that. For this next bit, it's going to be easier to follow along, but what you want to do is come next to the last two rows of our quartz, and next to here, you just want to place it six blocks out with your grey wall. Then on the right of that, just another four blocks out of your quartz, and next to the second block in, you just want to extend your quartz out, and another six more blocks. So we have almost finished placing our floor plan for this side up, but what we want to do after this, just come diagonal where we're just going to add out three more quartz blocks, and then leaving a two block space at just another two quartz blocks after that. After this, we should need to mark out where elevator shaft's going to go and for this, just come in diagonal to the last block where you just want to add up one more block of grey wool, then leaving a three block space at every time for the next two blocks, you just want to add up two more blocks of grey wool as you can see in the image. Then for the far left and two rows of grey wool, what you want to do is extend them both back all the way to the glass. And there you go, that's all of our floor plan marked out for this bit. What we are going to do now though is start extending it up. 
So what we're going to do to start this off is just extend all of our quartz up to the roof and then we can come back and start on our grey wall afterwards. So there you go, that's all of our quartz to send up. After we sleep though, what we're going to do is come to the other end of the building, where we're just going to start on our grey wall. So what you want to do to start this off, just come directly above the far left hand grey wall section, and above here you just want to place 8 blocks out with your grey wall, and then on the right hand side the last block should extend it all the way to the wall. So as I mentioned then, just filling in the rest of the space in the middle with your grey wall. Then for this next bit what we're going to do is come to the row next to where our grey wall is on the floor and on the fourth block up just placing uh, two rows of grey wall above. The last thing we need to do before we can go ahead and extend the rest of the grey wall up is you're going to come to the corner here and on the second and third block up, you just want to extend your grey wall all the way around it as you can see in the image. Then with our grey carpet what we're going to do is come beneath this grey wall section, we just want to extend your grey carpet all the way around and after that just doing exactly the same on top and one more row above that. After this, just extend up all your grey wool for your elevator shaft. And then after that to finish off this bit for the front row on the top two rows, you just want to extend your grey wall across. Then once you've done that for our two quartz doorways, what you want to do is fill in the top two rows with your quartz. That's the first one done, now just come round to do the second. Now that we have finished off marking at this section, what we're going to add underneath the first floor roof is a row of light grey wool all the way across. Now what you want to do to start this off is just come to the corner behind us, where you just want to begin up by placing up four blocks out with your light grey wool. Thank you. 
And for these four blocks, what you want to do is extend them all the way to the other side, as I mentioned, but just making sure to leave a one block space on the other side. Then once you get to the end for the last four rows again, now what you want to extend these out all the way across the wall. So once you have done that, what we're going to do is come to the other end of the building, where for the two quartz rows next to the doorway, what you want to do is just remove them, and we're just going to replace them with eight rows of grey wool. Now to extend all of these rows up. So in front of this section of what we're going to be adding is three rows of grey wool and also a bush on the left. Now for your grey wool then what you want to do is start with coming to the far right hand side and on the third block in just adding that three rows of grey wool making the same height as the grey wool behind. On the left of this as I mentioned we're just going to be adding our oak leaves and for this just come in at one block away where for the next four blocks you just want to dig down two blocks and across the bottom row just add your glowstone. And directly on top of all of the glowstone blocks what you want to do is place your oak leaves and you just want to extend them all the way up so it leaves a one block space beneath the top. So there you go, that's this wall done. Now what we are going to do now though to finish off this part is just come on the opposite wall and from the corner which can add our bookshelves. So to start this off just placing out three blocks out and then on the right hand side the last block just another two. Then for our bookshelf, just extend them all up and have a three more blocks. Once you have done that on the right hand side of our bookshelves, what you want to do is start off by digging two blocks down and on the bottom block just adding a redstone torch followed by a redstone lamp on top. And on the right of this, just counting it seven blocks away, we're just going to do exactly the same. So just digging down two blocks again, where on the bottom block, you want to add a redstone torch, followed by a redstone lamp. So once you have added these two lights, what you want to do between them across the back row, is you just want to place your quartz stairs. Then on the outside block on either side, just add another quartz stair. And between the space in the middle, what you want to add is your quartz slabs. And as I mentioned then in the middle, what you want to add is your quartz slabs. So to finish this bit off and all of this part, what we're going to add on the back wall is a painting. So I'm going to be using a 2x2 painting for this and it doesn't actually matter which one. But what you want to do is have it centred above the couch. And there you go, that's this bit done. Now what we are going to be doing in the next part is carrying with the downstairs interior. And also if we get time, we'll also be starting on the next floor as well.